The historical archaeological site of Buya is believed to be the home and origin of one of the first Homo sapiens. Buya, at one time in history, has been covered with water from the Red Sea and through time due to climate changes took the state of its current status, dry land. The 10 years research carried out on the Buya area is one of the crucial and great achievements. Researchers on the area revealed incredible findings of paleontological and archaeological significance. Boya is located along the Great Rift Valley that stretch from East Africa all the way to North Africa. The Tupon organized water at the same 70 kilometers of the East African Rift Valley. Kabal Mozambique Miru na makalem vraz khayt na ganem vra Afrika biar trabili zwat zbezeh rahbatat ne aser hiwat ne dek sabat ne ne katen fosilis umulu aser ne dek sabat zhaber abz na gazi zbezeh terahibu baz akal ne zbart sumuan air rahani buzh fosilis na abit insatat aser ne dek sabat na sarhitat tentawi tafal le aserat inkar kabul zgal bota kamuhan habtam bota kamuhan metengar. مصنعتي أبي كيرات مال. أبي كان زوجنا بزعينة بروفيشنال أو كان بزعينة كستاي إذا أكتيفيتنا فتاتي إذا كيرت قالوا خاو بالانتيولوجيست اللو جيولوجيستون اللو قال ولا فيزيكال أنتروبولوجيستون اللو ناتي كان بفولي أبتنا أركيولوجيكال أو كان سنت أنتاوي كوتا زبال أو إستات مالتي. تقولتا تشان عصر الربع تنزل جمرة خينو، أبكل التبوت هاي تخايدو، تحجي كاب عمي جميرة نخو تازة لنا خاني، تحتي لا ملحلة أما وط الربع تهبني هذا لنا مالتي، أبقى أتخوتها. Here we are excavating this site. This, we are in area four of Muluyamo site. Uh, in this excavation, we uh, testified the stratigraphy and all the sequence in this sector of the site. We, you can see uh, a, a deposit with a thin level of sand. And uh, at the end of this sequence, we discovered a level with uh, more or less seven bifaces in, uh, in the layer, in the level. So this is very important to, uh, to improve the, the question of the Australian level in the Muluyama site. So this is a very, very important stratigraphical excavation uh, testifying the presence of level in original deposition in Muluya. Here we are in the, one of the most important excavations of Eastern Africa. Uh, the focus is uh, on uh, the excavation began because of the very important fossil that has have been described and then those fossils have a very important uh, both paleontological and archaeological context. So uh, the aim is to, to shed new light on some very important part of the human evolution, specifically uh, when Homo erectus was here at the very, very end of this time and uh, technologically we have this Achillean techno complex mm, so uh, we try to understand how was the human occupation here and what is the behavioral evolutionary uh, importance like significance of, uh, of this area in terms of very big picture big frame of human evolution and uh, as you know all human come from Africa so we, we come here to, to try to understand ourselves as well and as the whole human path from from findings here in, in Eritrea. And the Lomri is a Nam Drabedai. After the Haritama is now to place us in Asian Brazil Nagan, Azilum and Mumbaru, with Asarati what can redan Harina, Tosahi, Abzi, Aladz Bene, Antoy, Nay Asatar Hubatunalu, a barn of Maikan of Rizal and Sakam by Gumaran, a co of Maisen of Rukam by Hargets. Uh, you you can you can imagine a, a big lake with a, with a edge uh, 
And uh, at the edge of this lake, uh, there was human. It's, it's amazing because uh, all of the people who work there are incredible researchers and that's a honor for me to be here. And this place, uh, it's uh, fantastic because it's full of so, so many remains human but not only human and it tells us a story that uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable because it's so full of things uh, that uh, understand what happened exactly here it's uh, something really special and i'm proud to be part of it we are talking about uh, Erectus. Uh, we, we think Erectus, uh, but uh, is a, a special Erectus, it's a, an Erectus in, a, uh, in evolution. Probably is the Erectus um, uh, which exit from Africa to Eurasia. <laughs> We found uh, remains that are unique, uh, absolutely unique in this place. And uh, uh, this environment, uh, when they were alive, it was totally different. Uh, geologists uh, studied for so many years uh, the environment and they helped us uh, to understand all the levels uh, and uh, the situation especially for the archaeologists to reconstruct uh, step by step uh, every single piece <laughs> of level where we excavate particularly in this area we found elephant but in all the area we found a lot of hippo hippopotamus uh, elephants antelopes and crocodiles, so animals in a lacustrine, fluvial lacustrine environment. You have a big, big diversity, genetical diversity, and you really, you can be proud that all the humankind comes from, from here, from East Africa. So I really, really hope that it reaches the people and the people can be proud about that. Uh, and it's very important, uh, I mean, worldwide to just go around and be proud of that. And a part of that, yeah, for us as well, it, I, I think it can help us to understand that we're all, all the same and we, we all come from, from the same source and, and for me African archaeology it means we are very happy for the archaeological finds because this is a wonderful site for the uh, prehistory in Eastern Africa for the position and for the um, for the richness of the remains we have a lot of lithic remains a lot of fauna and a lot of uh, um, a lot of human remains and this is association is very special for Africa in other contexts we have only fauna or only lithics or only human remains here we are we have the three uh, in the same context. During this expedition in 95 in the site that was uh, nominated Wadi Halad uh, it's not here, it's another site, 5.7, 5 kilometers, 700 meters from, 
from this point is another part of the lake, or the border of the lake, uh, of the Somoti Lake. And they found, that the, the last day of the mission, they found uh, one skull. Uh, we are very lucky because uh, the paleontologists uh, uh, don't know uh, so good the human uh, anatomy in particular pieces, but large skull is very easy to recognize. And they recognize immediately, it's clear. Uh, an Homo erectus, and uh, the feature of the skull is uh, very clear, uh, similar to African Homo erectus or Homo ergaster, it depends on the name that you want to use. The name we have project to make a rare habit, Homo site in Blolana, Wadi Alad, this is the name of Mamul Hari Amui. The Kababi Hatem it is home site Salubzi. There now in Reunion Nasta Palaleo Asarat after the quaternary deposit Nulo. ولكن <تصفيق> Homo erectus is a start around 2.1 million years ago in Africa. And just this time period, hominin live only in Africa. At 1 million happened in Africa a big, big bottleneck of evolution of Homo. Buya, uh, at the beginning of the idea, it is possible to uh, cover this time period very important because the period in which Homo erectus uh, finish and uh, start to evolve in other species uh, was named Homo edalbergensis that uh, appear 700,000, 750,000 years ago in the same area. One of the, the most important fossils, the first fossil, the most older fossil is named Bodo and uh, was discovered in, uh, in Ethiopia and uh, was dated at 700,000, 750,000 years ago. And the importance of this fossil because it is one crucial moment of the evolution of Homo and the change from the uh, most archaic form of Homo, Homo erectus, in the new species Homo edalbergensis is the direct ancestor of the Homo sapiens that evolved in this in the same area in this area uh, in around 300 to 250,000 years ago. It's a very important time period. And the, the skull of Buya that was named Ua Uhei because Wadi Halad 31 is the number of uh, the fossil, uh, is uh, the most best preserved Fossil is the best preserved fossils, fossil for one million years ago and one of the most preserved fossil in general because they is complete, is absolutely complete. <laughs> Kababa had a million exception on them, it is after nine fossil record in Nublo. We will live Africa. We have that specimen in the low. Abzahabina, Ab Tanzanian, Ab Bodo, and Ethiopian. Try to see Abzan Toskuan Amatat, my chronology. Kab had a million exception on them, it is the end. Try and near Kermanabuya Maletu. Tenebuya Unta Rahibu, Slezzi, Abmet Nat Nighty Nighty Project and Time Kufal to Hill on the low savage. Homo erectus the bal species you up to come had a million such a month emitish. I'm at that come the number and fault of the Tarabat Abab Homo site again. Night Homo erectus Bahari at a low up to now to anatomy. Night home the heroms motu. Homo header regensis the balloon advanced the one traits a wish to ta scalalo. Had you fully gave a half tom calot as a rat. The chronology is the ma. Then the world will have a million exceptions on them. It is as you are going to see. We do up to tariq naif al katwa disab. Captain Salas, the fossilist, the world will have the ability to know how. Now to up call the alam naif naif Asia. We will have to track it. Naif mo erectus remains. Up to as the task one gazing. Naif mo erectus. Africa as you will have. Mo zanat nadma. 
ናይ ናይ ፕሪሚቲቭን ዴቨሎፕድ ዝኾነ ትሬትን ስለተብ እንታዩ ተሳፒናይዜሽን ፕሮሰስ በቀም በዛ ረኽበት እዚ ያክለ ዝድኽል ሆሞ ሄደር በርገንሲስ ነቶም ሆሞ ሳፒንስ ይባሉ ዓለይ ዘሃበ ስለዚህ ታናይ ቡያ ቲ ኢቮልቭ ትሬትስ ንብሎ ወይዝ ማዕበለ ክፋላት አብ ናይ ዝኽፋልዝን አብዚ ናይ ስንን ዝማዕበሉ ትሬትስ አለዋ ናይ ቶሞ ሆሞ ኢሬክስ ድማ ሞዛይክ ስለዚህ እዚያ ካብዚያ ተበጊስናን ታይና ንብል ዘለና ሓጂ እዚ አቡ ያሰራ ባሰር ዳይሬክት አንሰስተር ናይ ቶሞ ሆሞ ሄደር በርገንሲስ አብ ሸሞንተ ሸዋተም ምትን ሐምሳን ሸ ዝሞጹ ማለት ይዝ ፎሎው ካብዚ ተበጊስ ካሕጂ ንታይ ዝብ ለለት መጽናዕቲ ዳይሬክት አንሰስተር ናይ ቶሞ ሄደር በርገንሲስ ይ ዲሩና ፖሞሳ ፔንስ ድማ አበለ ማለት ነው